Uh, Gordon, uh, mentioning something there at uh, affordability, now we did see some increment on our premiums, motor vehicle premiums as of January, and uh, you also did revise them at the end of the day, petitioning them to be paid in two, two installments. However, uh, we, we've received some you know, uh, sentiments from some insurers in the market uh, threatening to quit, saying, that the business is unattainable. What are your thoughts on the same? I may agree, I may agree with them, I may disagree also. Mm -hmm. uh, my argument, my argument uh, with them is that if, if a business is no, no longer capable of uh, self, to be self-sustainable in terms of uh, 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 catering for the cost, if if a business cannot sustain itself by uh, sustaining itself in, term, uh, in paying its cost, mm. then it is no longer a viable business because for you to continue that business, you, you, need, you need to be pumping in, injecting from somewhere, Definitely. somewhere to continue fund. And this insurance is not a philanthropic uh, business, it is a profit-making business. Uh, whenever there is no, no margin on any particular segment of li uh, insurance line, uh, it's up to uh, the, the decision makers or the, the, uh, the shareholders of the managers of the insurance company to decide whether they, they are continuing or they are, they are slowing down or they are exiting the line. And do you see this maybe making it more costly for insurance in the market to, to, to play a part in the sector? Okay, uh, there have been a lot of overheads, mm -hmm. overheads in the uh, motor insurance business where, whereby you see uh, the cost of repair uh, are continuing increasing mm. and uh, compensation on, for people who are hurt by accidents, compensation continue to increase, uh, yet the, the contribution were, were just stuck at, uh, at a level where uh, if, if it was not increased, it wasn't possible to continue doing business and uh, uh, there have been some, tre some tendency or trend for some uh, insurance operators to, to define, to select, to be selective to select some specific category of vehicles which are, are hugely loss-making to exit uh, a certain uh, class of vehicles. I, I will give you examples. Uh, there are insurers who, who decided, for example, to, to slow down providing insurance for motorcycles and uh, uh, minibuses. Uh, these specific lines or categories of vehicles were, were uh, draining the entire portfolio, motor portfolio, to be loss making, then it is worth it. It is worth it to to decide uh, going slowly or pulling out from that particular uh, 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 class of vehicle. Now, uh, increasing the premium was unavoidable, mm. unless unless uh, there is any other magic which does not exist in business. Definitely. Uh, by insurance techniques, we uh, insurers are only uh, pullers. We only pull people together mm -hmm. with their contributions and compensate the members of the pool who are victims of accidents. We compensate with them with the contribution we collected. When it becomes imbalanced, Yes. It is no uh, longer sustainable. Gordons, let me, let, me, let, me, let me take it from here maybe. One would ask themselves, why would anyone put, uh, why would anyone increase the premiums but then put a cap, I mean a 200,000 cap on the same, that anything below that will not be processed. And yet we know that motor accidents that happen here in Kigali or anywhere nearer, they are not that fatal, so someone would just get a headlight, uh, you know, broken headlight, something of that kind. Just give me a sense on that. The, the whole essence of this is uh, we had a, a situation whereby if you, if, you take, if you consider the number of accidents in, the, in, in that range of uh, two, uh, 
from one to 500, let's say, mm. the number of accidents is huge. And the accumulation of all these small accidents make huge, huge, huge losses. To extend that, uh, let me take an example. Let's fixing a scratch or a side, a glass of a side mirror. It is not really a big claim. It is, it is only someone who wants to maintain his car at the expense of the insurer. So things like normal maintenance. You, there is no way you can drive a car within the city of Kigali, for example, and don't get a scratch over a year. And the, if you, you compound the, the, the scratches around the car, mm. fixing them becomes a maintenance. And insurance is, is, is meant to, to pay for to accidents, coverage. not to, to, maintain, oh, okay. to maintain vehicles on behalf of the owners. Mm. So insurer is there to, to compensate claims, accidents. But if, if you open, you park in a parking, someone opening his door, he just bang you, you, yours, and there is a small scratch there. This is not a claim in the sense of insurable risk. These are not the risks we have covered. We have covered collusion, overturning, and at the, the end result, the, the main objective of, of this, mm -hmm. coming, uh, coming up with uh, the capping of claims, mm -hmm. is to make the customer behave responsibly such that if there is a claim, he will feel the pinch and he will avoid putting in small, small claims. And uh, in this sense, the insurer will be compelled to pay for big, big incidents only. And whenever there is, uh, uh, there is an accident, the owner or the driver will ensure that the one who is faulty will pay, will pay for that, that, that small amount. Okay. So now to, to summarize, the, what you are, you are asking is what we call excess or deductible, which in normal circumstances, if you are not faulty, there is somebody to blame for this accident. This is not going to be impacted on you. It will be paid for by the, by the faulty party. The faulty, yeah. At the end, you, you, the net impact, the net financial impact on you is zero, mm -hmm. which prompts people to behave responsibly and uh, whenever there is uh, an accident uh, where there, there is two people or more involved, you will, you will ensure that the faulty party is held responsible. Otherwise, it wasn't the case. You had scenarios whereby you, you, had, you have accident, you have uh, two vehicle crashing, mm. and everybody say, each one of you say, do you have comprehensive insurance? Yes, you have comprehensive. You, you go claim on your insurer. Okay. I, I put the claim on mine. 